we start it right up again. Uh, yeah, this will def this should definitely spare me from having to cut the game up uh, or the footage up by just having to look through it. Uh, though, on the other hand, I could just have a notepad nearby. I, I actually have notepads nearby, but I keep fitting the freaking pens to note where the next one will start. But for now, let me change up the title. There we go. And the category. Oh, wait, is that oh, not dear. connect? It should be with two N's. Let me Tomb Raider Anniversary. Okay, why is it? Why is it? It was there. There you go. Okay. I can see it now. Yeah, it is there. But why is it? Why is it complaining about the spelling up here? Let's see. A N I V E R. S. Oh, I forgot an R. <laughs> okay, there we go. Change the title, and then we start up the game. So let's see. That's yeah. There it is. Still my Steam recents. And let me just move this a little bit because for some reason it likes to get stuck in the corner as well. Oh, okay, that moved a bit more than I planned to. But OBS should catch it all the same. There we go. Without any desktop you know, screwery. That I believe was a nuclear test uh, having a bit of a side effect that was unintended. Oh dear. Now, before we start off with this, let's just make a profile just to keep things nice and sorted. So, wait, I, I just put in okay. That, that's okay, it just double dipped there for a moment. But yeah. Welcome to Tomb Raider Anniversary, which is a remake of the original Tomb Raider. Back in that came out in I think 1991. Not sure. And um, we, we are recording this, I hope. Yes, I can see it in the corner there. It says stop streaming, stop recording. So, yeah, it is definitely recording again. And, yeah, as much as I said earlier that with Commandos 2 finished, uh, another one of the games that I grew up with has been uh, that we have covered most of the games. Like, the Tomb Raider series is another series that I well, grew up with. I, one of my, some of my first memories of gaming is watching my father play the original Tomb Raider. That sounds nice. Yeah. Uh, this game looks very good. Yeah, it came out somewhere in the 2000s-ish. That, that is, it looks very good for 2000. Though I am a bit surprised over one thing that was rather hard to not notice. Yeah, the the jiggle. Yeah, like there are a lot of jiggles on. For first of all, the the machine were. Dusting off her pants and noted the fire eagle, then, yeah, then of course, the chest. Yeah. yeah that, that's always been a joke with Tomb Raider since the very start. Like, it was originally claimed that uh, the designers made a quote unquote error with a slider for the, her chest size, uh, but basically nobody believes them. <laughs> I could have believed that if not that the... for this one, maybe I could have believed it, but if for the older games, when it was a bit more blocky, I would have been more doubtful. 
Okay, uh, let, let's stop ogling Lara, even though she is doing her best to make us ogle, and actually start the game. Uh, let's see, manual grab, I forget what that specifically means, but let's leave it off for our own sanity, probably. And let's see, we have easy, medium, and hard. Let's go with medium. Uh, why has it been... Calcutta. Now, what's a man got to do to get that sort of attention from you? If that's the sort of attention you want, Larson, you're well on your way. Sounds like fun, but I'm only here to make an introduction. Lara Croft, meet Jacqueline Natla of Natla Technologies. Good afternoon, Miss Croft. My research department has recently turned its focus to the study of ancient artifacts. And I'm led to believe that, with the right incentive, you're just the um. woman to find them for me. I'm afraid you've been misled. I only play for sport. Which is precisely why I've come to you, Miss Croft. This is a game you've played before, with your father. You both spent years searching for the Skion of Atlantis. All you needed was the location of Qualopec's tomb. You found Vilcabamba. How quickly can you get to Peru? Okay, someone needs a lesson with the hair gel. Bill Cabamba continues to elude us. And my insistence that we press on in spite of these failures has morale low. I suspect Jenkins to be the author of this sedition. He simply refuses to accept the possibility that Atlantis is the foundation upon which all known civilizations were built. Increasingly, I find it is love alone who remains untainted by academic dogma. Open-minded enough to see this truth. Don't need to turn on subtitles in a second. Lo siento. No traje bastante cuerda. Not to worry. I'll find another way up. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Uh, let's. I said it, they went all in on her animations so much that it becomes awkward when you see the other characters. Yeah. Like, sometimes that's not a too bad thing, depending how how extreme it is. But when you're all so close to the faces like this, it can become a bit jarring. Yeah, th this game is some um, 10 years old now-ish. Like, the late Zeros, I believe it was released. I, I probably should make notes of specific details of the games that I stream just to have something to talk about at the start. Uh, but yeah, we now have the subtitles on, so everything can be understood, though the audio balancing so far is decent. The music was a bit loud earlier. All right. Uh, mm. Weird. Yeah, that sticky key is starting to complain with alt. Okay. Uh, it's a bit annoying. It's standard WASD. Space to jump. Hold I, I, I really hope we are recording for... I hope I speak the two hour little... thingy on Discord to alert it again, but it hasn't. Uh, you, you can see in the corner yourself with OBS since you see the whole thing. It's, uh, yeah, but I do because... Oh. Oh, uh, let me guess. Stream live? Uh, that as well, but you can you should be able to see the controls on the side where it's the command says to stop streaming and stop recording. So that means that it is recording and streaming. Yeah, though, due to you screen sharing it, it's a bit... Much of it I can't read. Yeah, okay. Due to it's so small, it actually looks gibberish. Much of it. Okay. Yeah. Uh, most people who have played a platformer like this should be able to figure out most of the controls like this, just shimmying along ledges. The one thing that is different here is that you can speed up with by tapping E. And yeah, jump up from ledges. Basic stuff. First new thing though is the grapple. And yeah, most games have this now as well at some point or another. But I believe this is one of the 
first where I've seen it where you can just grapple onto specific things yourself. <laughs> okay, checkpoint. That comes with a little thing to notify as well. Are you cold? Mira, ya llegamos. No sé cómo abrirlo. Okay, didn't actually know we could talk with him before. But uh, yeah, Laura might be <laughs> might want to think about dressing up a bit more than this. Yeah, like sure, I'll I can handle cold water decently well. I I can just go with a. Depending on whether I just even in winter with just a shirt or an open jacket, as long as I have some worker pants, but... Here? Yeah, even here I would want some winter gear. Alright, this face is not bad. Uh-oh. I will say this. The game has aged well. Uh, when I saw the audience face, it didn't look bad. Yeah, it looks a bit worse now that it's been devoured by wolves. But yeah. It, yeah, but yeah, the only one I feel have like some slight criticism is the blonde earlier. Yeah, I think that was part of the physics they were trying to implement that uh, those are going a bit wonky. <laughs> with modern systems. Yeah, and she looked also like they made less, like they had some decent hair, but a lot of clothes looked like they were almost part of her body in a way. Yeah. <laughs> like overall the game still looks decent. There are still some some minor things like the fact that the straps uh, on the, the uh, well, for one that's <laughs> now it is Laura who has put too much gel in her hair. But if you look closely, the straps of her backpack don't actually touch. Uh, that's one of those things. Actually, Helium, that's a still a thing. Even yeah. modern games have that still going on with many games. A little joltiness. But still, it. Obviously, right off, it has aged well otherwise, beside the. Uh, Glitchiness. Let's see. Can we turn those hair physics off somewhere? Uh, let's see. The, the, the hint icons. I, I don't think buttons. many games have a hair physics option. It's part of the physics system itself that is being a bit wonky. And yeah, here we have our first bit of combat. Just point, shoot, oh. and. <laughs> I read what the <laughs> point shoot and uh, banish the bats back to hell wherever the hell they came from. Is this game having a fit at me for seeing it has aged well? What the heck is going on? Okay, I'm just I'm just pressing the clip button for that again just to see what the hell happened. Yeah, and also I want to say that sound the bats do. I have not. That's a stock footage sound that I have not heard in years. <laughs> they're glitching out when they're hitting the floor. Okay. Yeah, we're going to have to make a running jump here. And there we go. Okay. 
move up a bit so we line up a bit better here and there we go a moment of food you were to miss yeah the game isn't that unforgiving okay yeah so almost then like it actually it almost looks like a game i actually could could, could be able to play maybe it isn't too intensive, and there is the legendary secret found sound. Nice. Uh, yeah, they give a good reason to go, to go looking for this stuff, seeing as it gives you extras. And let's see. You can just drop down here. Uh, oh, the, uh, does this game have quick time events? Uh, not sure if this one... Oh. Don't shoot us! Shoot the bats! <laughs> they really are just fizzing out. And... Uh, I know some of the games in this era of Tomb Raider, which is, well, the second era, would, uh, it would be called, uh, uh, that there are quick time events. I don't know how many there are in this game, though. Yeah, if I remember, I have seen some gameplay of it, though they didn't take... They made a lot of cuts. Okay. Uh. Okay, we can also lock on with the right mouse button. This game was also released on consoles, so there is going to be some uh, port uh, stuff. Port light yeah, stuff. Wait. I should realize, did we forget to ROM? Uh, uh, he he wanted to be you know, he wanted to be present if possible. Chris, uh, you, you could give him a poke if he's around at the moment. Uh, yeah, for wait, I, I just remember him. For he said that earlier. Then I just remember we are in Peru and you're killing wolves. Yeah. Wait, does that mean you killed Rom? <laughs> or maybe his extended family. Uh, but yeah, uh, let, I'll just bring up. Discord quick and give him a poke and hello. There's another artifact there. All right, uh, you do that then. <laughs> uh, let's see. How can we get over there? To get up here, we just use this thing now as a ladder. Uh. Let's see. All right, uh, sh should I uh, poke him? Uh, okay. Uh, so. <laughs> yeah, it would probably help if I'm not fully multitasking like that. Uh, okay. Okay. Oop. Press E to quickly recover when Lyra is flailing on a ledge from a bad jump or fall. If she doesn't recover, she will fall. I'm pretty sure we would have to do that with every time we would grab onto something. If we had manual uh, grab enabled. There we go. Classic mat case. There you go. Thing them. Okay. Yeah, typically during these time, this time it is like early morning. Not not early morning, perhaps, <laughs> but morning for them. So they might just not be awake enough to really come join in. But, no, I'm awake. Yep. Oh, hello there. Stop her. You just sort of uh, forgot to put back my wolf from the Borderlands stream. Uh, yeah, and I and I oh, can't yeah. hear the ping because of stream remote. So let me just quickly add you in here again. Yeah, th th that's why I was was laughing, Helian. I noticed him. He jumped in right away. Uh, <laughs> you were eagerly awaiting this, huh? Yeah, but I figured, yeah, why not? I've already played and beaten this game. Yeah, no, here's a funny thing. I just remembered uh, that you talk about you want to join here. As we are currently in Peru, killing wolves. Yeah. And somehow I may remember, oh, right, Rom. <laughs> okay. Yeah, yeah, right. Anyways, uh, what are we talking about? Um, but yeah, the play, but yeah, level... If I remember correctly, Anniversary is basically just the first game, a remake yep. of, the, of the first first game. Yep, down to and... the level design in many places, like this area. 
but one thing that's noticeable is that this is actually the second game of the first reboot timeline. Yep, the second era. If we were to go uh, through the games chrono chronologically by release, then we should be playing Legend first, instead of this. Yeah. Basically, the first reboot timeline goes... Wreck. What did you do? Bear. Um, yeah, I actually forgot I that that was down there. Um, anyway, the first reboot timeline goes... Tomb Raider Legend, then Anniversary, then Underworld, and I think I have some extra games here. Uh, it was only these three. But no, 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 they, no, actually there is I, I, two more. Uh, yeah, okay. Oh, the Guardian uh, of Light and the Temple yeah. of Osiris are in this timeline as well. Good short. I... <laughs> okay. Uh... <laughs> uh, well, Laura is excited. It says I. We had one glitch earlier, but ever since I said that, that this game has otherwise aged well with the characters, this game may have been. challenging generous. us. Just because I said that. Yeah, yeah. no, I've, I've been there. I've dr I kind of drove myself insane just um, doing this. Oh dear. Just being the first game. Also, here's a fun, if amusing, fact. This is the only game in the entirety of the re of the first reboot series where uh, Lara does not have regular human enemies. Yep. Okay. And yeah, that is in part why this one in chrono in universe chronological order, this one is the first one. Why we started with this one instead of Legends, which released earlier. I thought that her humans enemies were re only in the movies. Nope. Like in in the hmm. in the very first game, there are a few human enemies. But from the second yeah. game on is where it they would really become common, and there we go. Mostly Big you pack fight pack. the local wildlife. Okay. Yeah, about that. I, I know there's bears in South Africa, but... They don't grow that big, do they? No, they don't, but uh, you're really gonna find the, the boss level in Peru really fucking funny. I have a feeling I know what it is. But I have seen some gameplay just for some reason on YouTube they say to do way too many cats. Let's see, the, the camera is being a bit wonky here and there, but so far nothing too nauseating, I hope. Uh, not at all. There were, I felt a, a little bit amused and concerned earlier when you were swing by the rubes and keep hitting me and Rom with Ra Ra Ra's? Laura's rear. I mean, they're worse hit. There are worse things to be hit by. Yeah. Uh, point taken. And yeah, door is locked. So we just gotta unlock it. Uh, uh, you know what? Helium? Replace your glass door with that. <laughs> That'll definitely keep the sound out and even wolves. And yeah. Uh, these are not relatives of yours, Rom. Yeah, they, uh, they're, yeah, sure, let's go with that. They're probably like, you know, they got hired to guard this temple, but the pay is kind of shit, you know? Yeah, they get oh, paid dear. in kibble. Uh, I just realized, um, Rom is hidden by my signboard. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I just realized that too. <laughs> <laughs> okay, let's unhide you. Yeah, you, 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 you may, uh, you may, you don't need to hide yourself over there. I wasn't even hiding, I was just like, oh, okay, wait, no, shit, there's a sign in front of me. <laughs> you can make it a little comical with just peering over my signboard. Okay, there Hello, we go, neighbor. Mouse is gone. <laughs> Oop. Yep, yep. 
made one uh, uh, yeah, yeah, the, the mouse was out of the game and was being a bit iffy there. And yeah, we we want to heal up a bit. Yeah, uh, that's just uh, actually check your check your options. I think there that's... we go. Okay, there it is. Fun fact about Lara's weapons in the original series, they were um, Browning High Power, which at the time was the official sidearm of like the British military, so a nod to her, you know, her being British and all that. Yep. In, uh, I, I don't know if this was caused by the movies or just one of the games, but from like this trilogy, on this trilogy, except for on this trilogy, she uses the H and K USP match, which, for a visual reference, if any of you have played Half Life, that's the handgun use. That's the nine millimeter pistol. Oh dear, I feel like it... I almost feel like they should have gone with her uh, English gun instead. For, I, I recognize Duke as a gun that they are definitely a gun that's way overused. I think it might be. I think Angel of Darkness was the first time she used the USP that was a video game, but it didn't sell well. But then when the movies with uh, Angelina Jolie came out, she used the USP then, and they figured. Yeah, screw it, it's a cool enough gun, so we'll have her use them. Except in Anniversary, where she uses a pair of uh, Colt 1911 type pistols. Which, if one looks at the layering close enough, says they're apparently chambered in 357 SIG, which is not a cartridge any 1911 has been chambered in. Okay. The timer is going a hell of a lot longer than I was actually expecting it to. So it, it might not actually it might not actually be a timer. Nope. Okay, for a moment I was expecting it to rise up that very second. I think you're just supposed to like make sure I I don't know, I was never good with the puzzles in the in the in uh I can repeat myself in Tomb Raider games. Uh hmm. one thing that I will eternally find funny is how characters like Lara Croft or Indiana Jones or Nathan Drake, just yeah, the mountain caves in Peru, and I think it's uh, um, the mountain region, which is like the middle region of Peru. Or wait, no, actually, this has more of a jungle feel, so it's probably on the on the furthest region, the jungle region. Which I guess would make sense for her outfit, you know. Uh, it, it, it is freezing outside. <laughs> You came right out of the snow. Oh, uh, yeah. Oh, oh, right. I remember that. Uh, mm. Anyway. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> then I get she wore. Then I get she literally wore the. Then I get she literally wore, like, the exact same outfit on the first game. Like, when True. we see her taking down the wolves and just. Okay, we're just rolling with it. Yeah. <laughs> okay, a little save. And there we go. Uh, I think there's something big drowning. Oh. Okay, lock on to this person. Oh. It's mouth meant to lock on to enemy targets perform special maneuvers like adrenaline dodge and headshots. Okay, I've forgotten those. Okay, when in race, enemy lunges and the screen blurs, move in any direction, press shift to perform adrenaline dodge. Okay. Yes, okay, this and is then not just... a sun bear. <laughs> and then just wait for them to line up and kill them in instantly. Okay, I, I completely forgot that that was a thing. Okay. Uh, speaking on Laura's weapons, I think in the latest trilogy or something, I think they're, they, they've been turned into desert eagles or something. If I remember correctly, the first... The first game of the new trilogy has her using a Beretta 92SB that she then trades for a Remington made 1911, which she then keeps for like, I think the second 
game, but for some time in the second game, she uses a Nagan revolver after being captured, and then in the third one, I don't know. I think they were trying to give her like a 1911, but at the same time, looking at the model, it honestly looks like somebody was making a Beretta, and then they said, fuck it, I give up, and just made it look like a 1911 somewhat. Okay. <laughs> I can hear Ooh. the bear. Wait, uh, hold on. <laughs> They still have straw? Yeah. Apparently this place has been oddly well preserved for being a few hundred years old. Yep. If not older. Uh-huh. What the hell was the Inca Empire? I, I was never good at history. Uh, you live in the Inca Empire. I mean, yeah, but I, I'm also kind of shit in history. Uh, when is the question, oh not where. Yeah, no, I have said this. I'm actually happy they they have not been doing what some games have that I consider a little crime. Like, this is the correct type of stone. In other games where they try to do Aztec Inca Maya, they go with sandstone. Yellow stone. This is not the stone they use at all. Okay, a bit awkward with the camera here. But, I got yeah. stuck in this room because I didn't think. Oh, go down to go down to swim. Holy crap! Yeah, oh, oh crap! And... You're stuck in the wall. You're gonna die. Are we going to get our first death here? It looks like. Unless we quickly use uh, one of these. That didn't seem to do much of anything. Okay, yeah. V and B we can use for quick heals. With, well, V for small, B for big. Yeah. Okay, I have to say, this is good attention. I feel like they actually looked at the Incan ruins for... Yeah, good luck trying to stick a car between these rocks. Um, as far as I can, well, actually, places like Machu Picchu and other ruins are more easily available to the public. Like, around, since you know they're like tourist spots and whatnot, and you know pictures and shit. Or I think you're supposed to shoot it. Yeah, make it a lot easier to identify how something's supposed to be constructed. Admittedly, there's still some areas that have this arid look to them, but that's more because they're, like, built on, you know, um, on, like, right, like the coast areas. section, what I mean, is the coast section of Peru, and, you know, that stuff gets weathered down, and we, we literally built cities around it, so... Yeah. Oop, and we found the key. And yeah. I don't know, yeah. people study, still try to figure out how the Incas made such masterfully constructed uh, stone buildings. But uh, every rock was so near perfectly puzzled together like this. We just built it. We, did, we can really figure out how to do, like... If I remember correctly, we didn't really do math in the usual way, we just sort of did it in a different way. But apparently a lot more efficient. Yep. God damn it. And we figured yeah. out... And... Uh, wow, everything's dark. And we actually figured out Jewish distance long before the fucking Spanish did. <laughs> yeah. The, the ancient South American, Central America, and did a lot of impressive stuff. And I feel like people have tried to do this still work this most fully in modern day and not quite gotten it right yet. So it is still a building mystery. And yeah, there's yeah, a lot of old world right. stuff that has become unknown these days, like Damascus steel and such. Oh yeah. Whatever the Romans used to make their pillars with and such. Oh, they, they have I apparently... No, There's they figured one? that one out. Yes, they have. 
Yeah, I th yeah, I think they looked, they actually figured out what made it so that the pillars could withstand, the, like, the passage of time. Yeah, okay. and also what they use for the room and sem uh, concrete. But there's also a reason why they stopped using it for... Did you need the ash and such from a certain volcano? Okay. This is also the problem for that means you is it only a build state that semi works decently around Italy. If you try to bring it out to further further away from that source, yeah, you have a problem then. Yeah, for 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 the yeah, for Fugius or something or that's uh, Volcano Man. Uh, Vesuvio, Fuji, I think that's a few. But yeah, it was basically limited supply and uh, it was not really viable to spread it over the entire Europe. Yeah. Actually, you want to know something really fucking funny that I found? Like, this is oh. a, this has nothing really to do with, like, um, Peru or anything, but... Well, okay, you know who I mentioned, like, we figured out sewage systems before the, uh, the Spanish did? Yeah. Apparently, the Brit- the- the English, and they were like, because- they, when they ran into, like, the Vikings, they were like, Oh, the Vikings are too clean, because apparently the Vikings figured out, you know, bathing and stuff before the fucking English did. Yeah, that, they, they did bathe, bathe, just, of course, they bathed more than, way more than them, apparently. Yeah. Oh, well, with all and, the blood and murder and all of that. Yeah, <laughs> and also, one thing stay clean. we did like to uh, cl have some more fancy clothing with fur and all that. Because apparently, yeah. as I heard, because I'm probably guessing Rom learned Samma from, it was some of the script where a monk was apparently very jealous of the Vikings flooding up all, uh, all the women, for apparently Women really love the Vikings for being so clean and uh, groomed at all. Yeah, and I think it was before it was illegal for monks to marry. <laughs> uh, yeah, good course, complaining for being too clean. Uh, yeah, Actually, yeah, there was the monk! complained about that I think yeah I think I read something like that I, I think I learned that from, from YouTube Jeez. oh uh, yeah it's not the the hair isn't the only thing that is using the physics the physics engine it's these blocks and such as well wait there's I something in the cage uh, yeah. I think it's a dead body. Yeah, but... mummy. At least part of one. Yeah, Why did they put a Peruvian me? mummy, this is a thing, in a cage? Um, probably for ambience. <laughs> Could be a <laughs> religious thing. <laughs> like, there, there yeah. are... in. I know at least in Europe there was a time where monks would have himself sealed into part of a structure. Willingly, that is. In Europe? Yeah. I th I'm pretty sure... Don't, don't you mean in... Don't you mean with the Buddhist in Asia? Yeah, those as well, but they were also uh, in Europe, I believe. Also the Egyptians. Oh yeah, Egyptians did that too. Just... Did not the Europeans did that as well? That that's new to me. Huh. Yeah, it wasn't common, I believe, but there were cases where monks would have themselves not uh, still alive that they would just get a room somewhere and it, it would just get bricked off completely, with except for like a small opening for food and such, and. The idea was you know, was that they would spend the rest of their lives uh, studying the Bible and writing you know, stuff. I oh, think. Wait. 
Okay, you meant buildings through structure that way, okay. I think I heard that... I think I heard that one of the theories how the Devil's Bible was made. I think I've heard something like that as well. Yeah, I think the book is currently in Sweden. So that one's right in the side. Well, people have been free trying to figure out who the heck the author is of that massive book. Yeah, one of the mysteries with it is, is that it is just so fucking big, and yet the handwriting seems to be consistent across it, even though it should have taken absolute years, possibly even decades, to write that thing. So it was. Yeah, it was just either somehow written really freaking fast, or. Yeah, that. It's really not many answers to all of it. Yeah, and so I feel as it might be more than one who wrote it, but yeah. as you said, the writing was very consistent, so yeah. it's a very debated topic. Yeah, I'm gonna have you here. A gear. A cog. A fancy cog. Okay, a cog. <laughs> and... This would be a case of uh, British and Americans describing the same thing with different words. Yeah, apparently yeah. I'll... Uh, we're gone? I was gonna say tomato, tomato. Um, yeah. I was to say also, I think I learned it recently, thanks to a formula, that there's a... not a thing that I did not know, like... spade and shovel. I don't know which, which is which, so I have to look that video at some point. Go. We really need every one of these that we can find. Yeah, okay. And luckily, we aren't playing on hard. We probably would have been killed <laughs> in that long ago. But yeah, time for some more platforming and puzzles, I believe. Yeah, I, I recall that the. Uh, you are like. Oh, yeah, even in original, you know, you were still uh, drenched in water after swimming. This was a rarity in the games back then, and now even. Something's not connecting. Okay, okay that was a turn. Okay, Laura, jump to the water, please. And... I think there is some way to make Laura dive like that. I'm pretty sure in the... But there's some sort of button combination you need to hit with it, like uh, hitting the roll button at this precise moment or something. I know in one of the original... Uh, in one of the original eras of Tomb Raider, you could do that. And oh. Yes, you could even have her swan dive straight into the ground. Ow! Yeah. Okay. Yeah, Laura's getting what a, the... Laura gets a bit wonky on the corners here and there. I sort of feel like this game might need some polish. Yeah, more that it needs a bit of trickery to work properly with modern systems, which it wasn't planned for. So far, so good, at least. Uh, we haven't needed to <laughs> resort to screen capture like commandos. Sure. So much for that. Well done. Okay. And, yeah. Uh, we will be streaming through this game entirely, of course, and as well as Legend and Underworld. Uh, not too sure about all of the other games. I, I do want to stream the first of the newest trilogy, the one that came out in 2013. Uh, that one at the very least. And maybe at some point the older games as well. I feel like... We could do first the first reboot trilogy and 
maybe it's a co-op thing, the uh, Temple of Osiris and Guardian of Light things, you know, it's a co-op yep. special. And then we do the reboot ability, and I don't know, maybe later we do the originals, but that's just my opinion. Yeah. Uh, at the moment we'll be alternating between this series, like the, this, the first reboots, and uh, the Indiana Jones 3D games, of which there are, to my knowledge, well, there are more than two, but I'll be doing two of them mostly. There is a one on the Wii, know. but uh, that one isn't too good from all I keep hearing. What? what? Okay. And Laura learned how to float like she was in a... In a Douglas Learn Adam levitation. Book. Douglas Adam. The guy who I... rode Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy. Okay. Wait, what? That's him? Yes. But I have not heard the name. Not in uh, for a very long time. I never knew who the heck it was. Oh, here's okay. a fun fact about falling off like a very high uh, body of water into another body of water. You don't want to do something like curl yourself into a ball like you're doing a cannonball. You instead want to like get yourself stiff with your feet on the face the ground so that you don't, you know, flatter yourself all over on the water. Yeah, uh, yeah, Laura balled up there as she fell over, which is not... I don't think I've ever seen that animation before. Yeah, hey. but from that height, I think you can ball up, but from the, the higher you go, the more straight you should be. Yeah. Basically, if you're... If you're Falling. Of a... Oh, hey, there's a. There's a. It's one of them in place. I gotta give ancient Peruvian engineers credit. This shit still works after years and years of this use. Yep. Like a few centuries at the very least, because. Uh, yeah. Conquistadors and all that was like the 1600s or something. Hang on, let me check what the hell Spain got here. Okay. Yep. Okay. And it's the second half started. Spanish conquest of the Inca Empire began in 1532. Okay. The colonization of the Americas altogether was 1493. Okay, so that was off by two centuries ish. Yeah, we got our. Uh... Holy. Okay, we need to. Cross oh, yeah, this. Uh, we basically didn't really do money or markets, we just had like. Uh, Exchange of goods and services between individuals and among individual groups and rulers. Taxes were basically something a person had to do for the empire. And which was reciprocated. So the rulers would just reciprocate by giving you lands and goods and providing food and strength and fees. Yep, that happened. What happened? Okay. <laughs> well, you um, died. Laura forgot to jump. It looks like we need a third pawn, so obviously I missed something somewhere. Yeah. But yeah, the Inca Empire were rather kind of good in that way. That they didn't need it. It wasn't really run by money. Yeah, we, uh, for record keeping and communication, we used knotted strings known as Ipu. And yeah, we figured out a lot of things like how to do watering for agriculture and stuff. And yeah, I remember the knots. I remember seeing them for the first time on a video go, How the heck do they work with that? 
love to practice a few centuries yeah. worth. <laughs> One thing we also about the massive road system that went from the whole Inca Empire had a road system went from like what is modern day Quito to modern day Santiago de Chile. Okay. Which is basically like between Ecuador, basically spanning Ecuador, Bolivia, Chile, and Argentina. Okay. That's quite a range. We were, I mean, we were part of an empire, so might as well True. have something to have a working road. Uh, yeah, road helps a lot. Okay, where did I miss a thing? We opened up a grate somewhere, but where that is is the question. Waters here are too fast to swim, so I doubt it's down there. Hmm. I didn't see a grate in the lower area. Luckily here we can still use this to get across. Let's see. Is there anything here that I missed? Probably some secrets hidden around that I overlooked. But the cog should be reasonably easy to find compared to everything else. Hopefully you are supposed to find them to progress after all. Yeah, oop, Laura doing her levitation again. I wonder if there's a fix for that. And this just brings us back here. We already pulled that, that opened up that crate, but where was that? Hmm. This was a bit of a thing that I've heard complained about the original Tomb Raider. And it is that uh, oftentimes you would need to go find wherever the hell something opened up, and that it wasn't too obvious at times. That, yeah, no, I, I get it. Trying to just sometimes these sorts of games get really, really confusing. True. Yeah, this is not a good thing. Okay, jumping forward, press shift to pro okay, so that's how we do that. Um Okay, oh yeah, swan dive like is it ain't swan dive straight? Yeah, you, you jump straight. Like that? Yeah, then you, you're doing it proper then. That's oh, where dear. we found that med kit. So, where is the third gear then? Or hog? Probably behind the waterfall. Now, I think we need to open up the waterfall to progress. No, is that you threw yourself a lot deeper so you might be able to fight the current of the waterfall? See, there's an entrance right there. Yeah, but... Yeah, we can't force our way past that. Uh, that is what we need. The whole thing about this activating is so we can bring that thing down to block off the flow. Ah. Hmm. Oh, I think I got an idea. Um, okay, Oops. try getting there, but instead of doing the swan dive, try just getting to the... Um, the ladder. Okay. Hmm. I'm pretty sure we can't pick them up from the old ones, since that would break the chain. So did I just completely overlook something? I wouldn't be surprised. I actually had trouble trying to figure out where thing A was, where thing A got unlocked in this game. Yeah. Actually, yeah, I see it. I or didn't. Yeah, we climbed this way before, I think. Hmm. 
That is something that can al is also often complained about in uh, modern games, though, is that uh, games offer solutions way too quickly. Yeah, but sometimes it's good to give you a tip, but it would uh, very much be... Uh... Yeah, but... appreciate it. What? I know, I've always figured that having, like, the camera just show... Like, okay, you got this area and then have, like, the camera show where you are in relation to that section. So you have, okay, this is where it is, this is where I am, and that's where I get, need to get. Yeah, the, I can see people playing that hand holding, but I kind of prefer that since sometimes there are moments you wonder, but basically everyone will wonder, how the heck uh, would I supposed to have guessed that? Yeah. yeah, that's another. That's a problem with some games. Not just like games like Tomb Raider, but also like some survival horror games. Because a lot of the times, right. your brain. Okay, so the human brain is wired to work in say a oh, nice view. Why not? I might as well say that the human brain is wired to work in like. Okay, this is how it's supposed to work. It's like key goes into lock, and. <laughs> Uh, you know, he goes into lock, or this is how something is supposed to work, but then you have a jump. Okay, don't jump towards the bear. Noted. Yep. Oh. But then you oh, go, oh, go on. <laughs> uh, but your brain then finds a very confusing puzzle that goes, okay, you need items from these four locations to unlock a door and your brain goes okay but why not just the regular lock yep. yeah you got, you got max well no actually you got 50 a rounds yep because like resident evil is pretty guilty of this because there's like on the first game alone, in order to get to the rear end, in order to get to, like, the rear exit that goes to the guardhouse, you have to collect four fucking things of, like, the sun, stars, and shit, and you're like... And by the time you get to the ending where you realize, oh, this whole thing is, like, a front for, like, a massive underground lab where they were built where they created like the virus that caused this mess your brain goes okay but why not just keypads and lock yeah yeah like Better. some things i can't understand what you will do that like a secret doorway and such like okay yeah a secret doorway i get that yeah that, that makes secret. sense but connecting the secret doorway to Moonlight Sonata is one of those things that your brain goes... How? I, yeah. Yeah, that, a, bit, a bit excessive. Or they have a puzzle to enter a special area that you should be able to enter regularly for any worker? Like... In... Okay. And, okay, the remake did make a point to say that the guy who created it was just, like, yeah. building a bunch of, like, of, like yeah. random traps and shit, and the dude who built it just specialized in, like, you know, quirky mansions and shit. So, you know, it makes some degree of sense, but... Yeah, they and, poke and fun they of it. it. Yeah. It, yeah, for some reason the bats keep unraveling from existence whenever they hit the ground. Come on, Lara. You literally only have to crouch, Lara. What the hell? Okay, don't what tell me we're going to get stuck here because of the you know, Lara being stubborn. <sighs> okay, so it's like her animation goes into crouch, but then goes into falling. So that's just confusing. Hmm. She should be able to crouch under that. I know she is. So what the yeah. fuck is going on? Uh, is this something to do with the engine? Is that, uh, working too quickly? Could be. In the new system? 
load the checkpoint, see if that unwrangles it. Maybe it does. Hmm. Yeah, it could be similar to what is causing that there. Yeah, that the uh, this makes me wonder if there is a maybe a fix around that. But can look that into uh, uh, or well, as usual, probably Helium looking into that. Okay. Okay, I'm gonna go look into the PC gaming wiki. Give me a minute. Yeah, the engine is messing with something, I think. So this is very clearly where we need to go for the third cog. Unless this... Anniversary, okay. There's... There, there we go. Wait, it what I was What I was doing before was I was pressing the up button before pressing the space bar to climb up. So I think that might have been messing with the animations a bit too much. That she is trying to stand up immediately from it. And, well, the uh, geometry forces her down. Uh, so it was your fault? <laughs> Maybe. I think the sort of thing you get a, like, a QA team would have noticed. Yeah, but then again, a uh, QA team doesn't account for, yeah, computers 10, 20 years later. True. You can't exactly future-proof when, you know, all of a sudden, the, the the company that makes the OS decides, you know what? We're gonna make a new OS every few years to replace the old, and the new OS is barely gonna work. Yep. Also, I think we can both agree that uh, Drakeo is going to like this area. Oh, by the way, we got dinosaurs! This. I think a little Mohawks. You got fucking Velociraptors <laughs> straight out of Jurassic Park. Yep, yeah, yeah. Missed. I don't know, no. There hasn't been any raptors discovered in South America. I think they were mostly in the Asian areas. Why was my tongue getting tired? Uh, in Asia, North America, and Europe. Yep, like, a uh, raptor was discovered in UK. Okay, just gotta keep busy and dodge these things with acrobatics and miss our timing. I I just I, I have seen some of these before, these with the other spot here, but I just now dawned on me why they are here. And that be oh, also. Oh yeah, you, uh, before I forget, this game has QTs. Yeah, look at the size of the guns. They inexplicably say they chambered in 357. Yep, even Laura just says, fuck this. Yeah, what the heck is a pistol supposed to do? Uh, yeah, I didn't mention, I still tell you there were quick time events in this game. I just forgotten how many there were. And yeah, each of those has a fail state and a fail animation. So, oh, uh, what if he wants to show that off, Sam? I want to point out, there's a T-Rex in the middle of a set of Peruvian jungles, because why the fuck not? Actually, there's a old book novel that takes people to South America, up to a plateau, where there are dinosaurs. And I mean, this yeah. is the plateau, I guess. We can take this thing off, and then yep, get trampled oh, by cool. it, apparently. Oh, now remember, Lost World. Second novel in Jurassic Park. Yeah, it was named after a novel. It was in in honor of another novel that was titled Lost World. There's a very old book used called Lost World. Not Jurassic uh, Park. I'm Lost World. Lost, Lost World. By oh bloody what was the author? What was the author? It, not Lost World. Uh, uh, hang on. Uh, yeah. I know they have made several movies of this uh, book, Lost World. It's gotten itself stuck in the corner. <laughs> okay. Uh, uh, eyes. Can we dislodge you? 
Arthur Conan Doyle, the guy who rode fucking Sherlock Holmes. Yep. Wait, he rode Lost World as well? Yes. Yep. I did not know that. Okay, but we missed yeah, that. That, that took place in South America. Up on a plateau, and where are we? Up in the mountains where you may find plateaus. Yeah, but we're in the middle of a fucking ancient temple. Ancient yeah. Okay. When it gets close, dodge. Yeah, shoot for the eyes and get it to run into those. That Out is what deals damage. Yeah. And as you think it makes sense for even the book they found people up on the plateaus with dinosaurs. And that is quite rough. Nope. If that still counted. Uh, but yeah, with the dodging as it showed with the bear earlier as well, just because you get the dodge doesn't mean you get invincibility frames, since you can still get hit. Okay, Rexy, come on. Take a look at those eyes again. It still hurts it to just run it into the wall, but these things just deal a lot more. Yeah, take a lead. I don't think these pistols will do much, if anything, at all against this beast. Well, besides okay. angering it. Yeah, that, that is basically the point of what we're doing. <laughs> I'm actually going Knock. to fail some Knock. of these just to show what happens. Nom nom. I guess it's a good thing to actually start you on the QTE. Yeah. It makes it less annoying. And I don't think there are any of the rapidly clicked ones. Yeah, with each of the QTEs, I'll probably show one or two fails just to show them off because that's something of a, a tradition with the Tomb Raider games as well that they have very detailed uh, death animations and such. Yeah, I think I see there have been full compilation videos of those. Yeah. Because in some cases, sometimes it makes me impress people that have done that, but also sometimes disturbs me at the same time. Yeah. Like the same way that in Super Mario 64, Mario has a very disturbing and realistic drowning animation. Oh, I, I have. I think I only recently heard about that one. Okay. For now, we have well, the third one. So, let's see. Can we cling to that? It's the same color. Yes, we can. We can jump to this. Oh dear. And here. And also, I hope I wasn't too loud earlier for if they won't lost world. Nah. Yeah, you were fine. Oh good. And I hope I didn't sound angry or anything. I, was, yeah, I think I got a little bit too excited. Exc excited? What the heck? <laughs> what, what accent for, did I enter there? You're excited for eggs. Well, I did eat some eggs yesterday. Let's see, this leads back. Does that... Oop. That means that there's probably something hidden thi that way. Wait, 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 wait. Go back, go back. Poke the T-Rex. I think it's dead. Yeah. Yeah, he's a... Yeah, little Rex, he's out for the count. Rexy got oh rexed. Dear. Oh dear. But yeah, we'll be seeing plenty more mythological like beasts that Laura will be fighting throughout these games. Oh. Yeah. Oh. Reminds Sorry, me, I, I heard something recently. A Something that they are looking into, but it's a more of a. a bit of a thought experiment, but it's not impossible. Someone brought up the paper that, uh, for all we know, 
Uh, and it's on for the Peru. They are looking for if there's any signs of this. Is that... It's not impossible that T-Rex that we know might have been 75% bigger than we thought. Okay, getting, getting cold downstairs and well, we hit the stream time. So let's go see if we can hit a checkpoint quickly. Otherwise we'll have the wrong right <laughs> one right behind us to fall back to. And uh, yeah, end the stream and see if we can find someone to raid then. I'm, I'm guessing so it's uh, calling for din something for dinner t to do or something. But... I said, let's raid uh, Rome's kitchen. <laughs> Uh, you'll only find a uh, fucking uh, Beef lasagna sprouts. we made yesterday. <laughs> we, uh, lasagna? Yeah, long story short, my fridge is fucked. Okay. Yeah, with so uh, a lot of troubles going on around there. Yeah, the fridge basically doesn't work, so I can't actually... It can't be used for, like keeping stuff cool so we just disconnected it so it doesn't bring power and we're just using it for storage and anything we buy that has, that is perishable we have to eat it within like a few days or on the spot okay oh you need a new fridge yeah we do we're, we're planning on like finding a fridge that is affordable but you know also works and it fits the dimensions of the bridge we, of the fridge we had yeah. Yeah, and it should also be easy enough to find a fridge that drains less power. With any luck. Um, uh, I think you're supposed to climb that. Yeah. yeah. It's always a bit of looking around for stuff as well. Which can be both frustrating but also rewarding when you finally do find a path. If it doesn't turn out to be some bullshit place. You need Let's see, we could yeah. jump that, then they go that way, but is there anything hidden over here? Yeah, yes, uh, there uh, is. This is probably why I don't, did never play Tomb Raider games. Like, I like the idea. There are some game mechanics I could get behind, but there isn't... Oh, there is so much climbing and jumping and now quick time events. That would stress me out and infuriate me way too much even. Now you can at least experience them uh, vicariously, I think is the word. Yeah, the word is vicariously as far as I'm aware. I did not. I thought that vicariously was more. a bit more dramatic flair to it. Uh, vicariously just means experiencing it through someone else's. Yeah, experience. second hand. Okay, oh. let's go down to save there. Um yeah. Let's go look for someone to raid. So we head up over here whilst I close this off. For a record, can Bring we back. not raid anybody playing the turf uh, game? Yeah. Uh there we go. Exit. And I'll start out the browser. Uh da, 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 da. let's see. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. We have well, first off I'm going to Change the screen share so we can all see. So change windows, uh, Twitch. Let's see. We have hey, the summer. We can world. raid someone playing Metroid Prime Remastered. Uh, let's see. There, there are <laughs> there are a lot of people of what one point three k people watching it at the moment, and I don't see that among the people that I have followed at the moment. But we could go look for someone completely new on that. Let's try. Let's see. We we showed off some Metroid Prime ourselves a long time back with uh, the <clears throat> with one of the showcase Sundays or so, and I think I somewhat recognized this guy over here, uh, Edrin or something. Oh yeah, yeah. I see that puppet appear on my YouTube recommendation on very very rare occasion. Let's see, anything else or anyone else that looks somewhat familiar or so? Uh, yeah, let me double check that this site is muted. It is not, so let's do that. Then we go here, then we copy their name. 
head back over to our channel and just port everything in. There we go, slash raid and paste. But before we start, of course, before we start that, of course, thank you everyone who has been watching now or later. It's been quiet in chat, but oh well. Uh, and of course, thank you. Uh, yeah. <clears throat> thank you for joining in, Rom. And thank you as always, Drake here. You're welcome. You're wel Don't worry about it. You're welcome as always, uh, my friend. Trust me, I needed to do this because I uh, I found some shit yesterday, and it's on the, it's on the gate server. You you probably see you probably seen it. I don't. It's just something that. It's the sort of thing that your brain goes, well, you know, I found this out and I need a drink, but I don't drink alcohol, so I'm screwed. <laughs> oh, God, help me. Oh, uh, you need a hug? Uh, I'll, I'll be fine. I'll be fine. Okay. I'll be fine right now. Uh, but just anyway. let us know whenever you do need help. Yeah, no worries about no worries, man. I'll I'll yeah. do it. You guys have yeah. fun, have a good night, and uh happy Valentine's Day and all that, yes. <laughs> yeah, happy Valentine's. Lower <laughs> 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 Laura's Valentine was a T Rex. <laughs> uh, anyways, good luck. And with that, let's start the raids. And I think I actually hmm, I think I actually got the order a bit wrong this time, but oh well. Uh, I think someone had just left to go get pizza because I was told that we would be getting pizza tonight. Uh, but yeah, for now, thank you all again for watching and until next time, have a nice day and until then. Be safe everyone and watch out for the uh, K-Wolves, K-Bears and K-Raptors. <laughs> and uh, a Valley Rex. Yeah, watch out for those too. <laughs>